Uh, first off, I'm excited to be here. Definitely appreciate you guys coming out. Uh, highly excited to be the next Lima Senior basketball coach. Uh, really excited to build a program here. Appreciate all the support, everyone that, that has uh, helped me out in any way, shape, or form. You know, I first want to give honor to God. Without him, none of this would be possible. Uh, to my family, to my fiance Nicole, my kids, I definitely appreciate, you know, all of the support. You know, me traveling a lot, not being around, I definitely appreciate it. To, uh, you know, the people in the back, my Tier 1 family, I definitely appreciate you guys coming out. It, it means a lot to me. Uh, my dad, uh, I always great seeing him. Uh, so I want to thank everybody. You know, my Aunt Jan up front, Jared, you know, you're definitely going to get drafted this weekend. Don't worry about it. Uh, <laughs> Again, I, you know, I, I applied for this job, and I'm honored to take this job to try to get Lima Senior to the highest level that it can be reached. Um, it's not going to be easy, um, but I never anticipated it to be easy. Um, I've always been a guy that's willing to go through hoops and uh, go through the grind of being able to come, to come out on top. I'm dedicated to doing that. And um, with, with, with the, uh, <clears throat> the team of the school administration, we're going to put together a nice staff, starting from the middle school on up who can definitely teach first and worry about wins later. Uh, so, you know, I'm excited. Uh, it's coming around quick because we got to get some team camps going on in June. But for the most part, you know, there's a lot of talent coming in this school. Um, and we want to we want to send these kids to college where they belong. And we want these kids having successful lives. And I'm happy to be a part of it. Uh, I haven't really sat down and thought of goals, uh, but we definitely want to keep as many kids in the program as we can. Obviously, we want to win, but we want to, we want to develop first. Um, and that starts in the middle school level. So we want to get some coaches down at the middle school <clears throat> level who are, are good teachers. Uh, so when kids get here to the high school level, we don't have to reprogram. Um, we just can kind of add on. So um, we're going to sit together. One, once I pick a staff, because I do not have a staff yet picked, once I get a staff, which would be pretty quick, we're going to sit down and evaluate ourselves and then put some goals in plan. You've been through some of the glory days of Lima Senior. You've been around through the last couple of years and some lean years. What has been the difference between the, the good days and the bad days? And do you see the good days coming back? Definitely. The good days, the good days are back. I don't think the good days have ever left. Uh, we've had some up and down years here at Lima Senior. Um, throughout the history, this has always been an exciting school, an exciting program. And I want to bring that high energy back. Uh, you know, we, we want to run. Obviously, we want to get up and down the floor um, in a structured environment. Uh, we want to play at a high level. Uh, so, you know, the, the, good, the good days never left, but it's going to be some better days coming um, and hopefully some great days down the road. You know, one thing about me, I try not to listen to rumors. It's hard when you're dealing with social media, and then you got a lot of people we always know sound travels. As far as my son, he, he's the only one that I can speak for. Uh, that's a decision that me and his mom is going to make. That's going to be a family matter. Uh, right now, he's at LCC, and he's going to finish the school year out strong at LCC. Once the time comes for me and his mom to sit down, put everything on paper, and decide what's best for him, we'll make that decision. Have you guys set a timetable? Not right now. We want to make sure he's still getting that 3.6 GPA. <laughs> you mentioned your, you mentioned team camps coming up in June. Does everybody who knows follows basketball in this area knows your involvement with the AAU circuit with King James? You have a very successful organization that you're a part of with that. Oh, you just added a varsity basketball job on top of that. You're a busy man, Q, Correct. But I got a bottom line up for you. How are you going to make time for all this this summer? Uh, obviously, if you're close to me, which you are, you know, you know we've been doing this for a while. I love basketball and I love trying to help kids. Um, it's going to be a struggle, um, but I'm definitely prepared for it. I have the support of my family. That's most important. Uh, God has blessed me with the talent, so I'm just trying to take full advantage of it. Uh, my AAU is obviously going to slow down. Uh, I've already spoken to Nike. I've already spoken to some guys at King James. I'm still going to be heavy involved with King James, but priority number one is Lima Senior Basketball, and I mean the entire program from the middle school up. That's my first priority, and I'm not going to let that fail due to training or King James. Surprised at that, or even the turnout that you had here tonight for your announcement? 
Definitely. Uh, I know a lot of people in Lyme have always been, been behind me. Uh, but to see this tonight in the gymnasium, to see the, uh, the outreach on the social media, you know, you know, it's surreal. And it definitely, uh, definitely made me shed a tear, too. Just to get back to X, is your timetable when you want to, uh, a month from now, two months from now, three months from now, when's this decision going to be made? You know, we want him to finish up the year strong at LCC. Uh, that's, that's priority number one. Um, and like I said, you know, that's going to be a family decision. We're going to sit and decide what's best for him. Uh, it's not necessarily about me because, you know, there's talent all through these hallways and we're going to be fine. Uh, but we're going to decide what's best for Xavier. We have not set a timetable. This has just ended, you know, tonight. Um, so the process starts, you know, pretty quick. Do you have a feeling of which way? Do I have a feeling as far as? Which, which way he's going to go? Uh, no, I don't. Not right now. You know, I've coached Xavier since he's been playing basketball. You know, I, haven't, I, I have not had an opportunity to coach him from a high school perspective, and that has not bothered me one bit. Um, wherever he's at, I feel comfortable with Xavier being able to do what he needs to do to make that program better. Have you been contacted by any, any of the other LCC players, have, a line of players, any other players? Oh, no, no. Uh, have I been contacted? I'm, yeah. Obviously, I'm, I'm like a father figure to a lot of those kids. I've been contacted by companies. Oh, no, not at all. We don't discuss that. You know, the only, the only kid that I have total control over is my son. Um, I, I cannot vouch, I cannot speak for any other of those kids that you know were Lima City School kids. I cannot speak for them. That's a family decision that you know those guys and their families have to decide on. Have you talked to any of the coaches in the area since the word got out? And not just talking in Lima land, uh, some of the coaches that are in the track, case in point, Coach Rookie up at Finley, Coach Lewis at DeSales, coaches up at TCC and the like. Have you heard from any of them via text message? Or no, I haven't. Not coaches. Um, I've talked to, you know, I've trained a lot of kids all over Ohio. You know, I've trained a lot of kids in Toledo that are affiliated with the track. So they, they understand that Lyman Senior is coming, and we're coming strong. Uh, but I haven't talked to any coaches. I've talked to Kill. Kill's a friend of mine at LCC. We were, friend before, we were friends before Xavier went to LCC. So we'll continue that relationship. You know, he's definitely supporting me 100%. Um, but as far as any coaches in the conference, I have not talked to any of them. Is this a short-term decision, I mean, as far as the tenure? Because um, obviously with X having the ability already being offered, uh, major Division One colleges right now, especially with the MAC. Do you have short term? Do you have long term in mind? I mean, obviously you're not going to be here for 100 years and be Joe Pop, but do you plan on being here 10, 15, 20 years down the road? I, pl I plan on taking my last breath at Lima Senior. Uh, Xavier's will be fine. He understands when he goes off to college, I'm not going to be at every game. If I was sitting at home on the, on the couch, I probably wouldn't be able to attend every game. Um, usually you get a better seat right in front of the TV. Uh, so, you know, he's very mature. He's uh, very heady, and um, you know he understands the process. If I'm able to make a game depending on where he goes, that's great. Um, but I plan on being here for as long as I can breathe. It's been a big 12 months for the Simpson family from you winning uh, the national championship AAU last year, Greg's jersey retirement this, this, uh, this fall, uh, Xavier winning the championship in the state, and now this for you. So what more can the Simpson family do for Lyman this year? This year? Uh, and Jerry get drafted this weekend. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, we, always, we, we always seem to forget that the Simpsons and the Pugsleys are definitely family. Uh, but, you know, we have some high goals. I've already researched a lot of schools in the track. I've already researched the schools we could possibly play in the tournament. You know, um, we have an opportunity to do some big things here at Lima Senior. And I, you know, being the head guy, want to take charge and, and make sure we fulfill those goals. You know, we have to be role models, obviously, first. Kids have to trust us. They have to believe in us. And I think that's a good thing that I bring to bring back to Lima Senior. Um, so me being around, I can already sense the energy from some of these kids that were here tonight. You know, but, you know, it's, it's not going to be hard. The athleticism speaks for itself. We've seen that. We've seen that with the football program, with the hiring of Coach Fail. So, you know, it's definitely a process. Um, but, you know, I'm not a patient guy. I'm not a, I'm not a rebuilding guy. I'm ready to hit the ground running. Speaking of the track, we know it's a very tough league. To come in and have your first varsity job in a difficult league at the, the track, does that maybe your experience in AAU help translate that to get ready for the track? The only thing that I, can, that I you know, tend to worry about is what I do. Um, I understand that I have to scout, uh, put, a, put a group of coaches together who can work good collectively together. 
Um, but, you know, we're going to worry about what we can do here, and it's the other team's jobs to stop us. Do you have a timetable for your coaching staff? It's got to be pretty quick because, again, we're going to go to some team camps in June and some high-level team camps. Um, so, you know, I leave tonight. I'm going to Dallas. Once I get back, we're going to sit down with some guys and uh, figure out, you know, who's going to be on staff and what the responsibilities will be. You're not in the building, but a couple of the members of the previous staff are in the building. One was a JV coach, another was a freshman coach who works for Lima City Schools as well. Um, will you interview those guys just because they are in the building? And how important is it to have somebody on staff that is in the building? Because you can't be here during the day because of your job commitments, per se, but you also you'll have the opportunity to still be in. But still, to have some sort of a presence with the basketball program in this building. Yeah, both those guys will be back. I've already spoke to them. Um, Brock, I'm excited to have him back. I'm excited to have uh, Afonso Townsend back. So, you know, we, we want to add some other guys that can help, you know, build the program the way we like it to be. Uh, I, don't, I would never hire a guy just because he's in the building. I would always hire a guy because he wants to help the program first. Um, but those guys are in the building, and they definitely want to help the program. They had a great year. Both of them did last year. So I'm excited. You know, we just want to add a couple more pieces to make it complete, and we can go forward. Correct. Basketball coach now. Uh, you're still going to do the AAU. You're still going to train basketball players as part of your. I mean, obviously, a lot of the seniors are top priority, but kind of where does it go after that? It's a lot of a lot of irons in the fire. <laughs> it is your full time job. It is, and I mean, this is what I've been doing for the last ten years. You know, I've coached Lime Explosion. And I've coached AAU. I've trained. I've coached OSU Lima. I was the JV coach here. I was the freshman coach here. So it's not like it's a new idea. It's just more responsibility. Um, and it's about prioritizing, you know, my daily schedule. Um, again, I got great support at home. Uh, without her, I probably wouldn't be sitting here now. So, you know. Are you train the players and everything? Of course. You know, we got to train Lima City, Lima City school kids. You know, they need development. It's going to make our program successful. So that's definitely uh, what we want to do early. The way I understand, I understand it, Coach Sayer said that this new OHSA thing passes. A transfer would have to sit out 11 games if you want to come to a place like Lima City. Mm -hmm. Is that the way you understand it if this thing passes? Yes, there's, you know, that, that OHSA rule changes quite a bit. I haven't looked at it because I have no reason right now to look at it. We haven't even understood if anyone's transferring. So there's no need for me to, you know, dig deep and research it, you know. But if that happens, then we'll, we'll find a way to research and find out what the rules are. But right now, we haven't looked at it. 21 years ago when you graduated from this place, did you ever imagine you'd be coming back as the head coach? Not at all. <laughs> Not at all. Not at all. Again, I'm blessed. Uh, I, I never even imagined coming back home, you know, in 02 when I moved back. Uh, I was in Colorado Springs, a great city, um, doing some great things out there. But it was time for me to be a full-time father. I didn't want to be a father from 18 hours away. So, you know, it was kind of a no-brainer to come back home and be involved. You're a Cowboys fan, right? No. What team? <laughs> <laughs> NFL? Yeah. Tom Brady. Okay. Jared makes, makes, goes and gets picked up by the Patriots. How happy you going to be? I'm going to be happy if he gets picked up by anybody. <laughs> you know, uh, but I'll, I'll be happy. You know, Jared, you know, Jared has, has come a long way. You know, you guys seen Jared the last few years. But we've seen Jared, you know, right from his mom from day one, and he's, he's come a long way. You know, I, I could stand up here all day and talk about Jared, how proud, you know, how proud we are. The best athlete, uh, I don't know, I'd probably have to say uh, my Uncle Philip Gregg's dad. Who wins one-on-one, -on -one, you or X? Me. <laughs> Next score. <laughs> I don't know. I, I haven't played ball in a while. Xavier, you know, he works really hard. Um, to be honest, I probably couldn't beat him now, but, you know, it's, it's the more of a basketball, it's more of a mental game, so I could get him there.